What's up, duelers? It's Nerp here. And sorry about the uh, lack of frequent duelist videos lately. Um, I've just been doing some other stuff, but I'm really waiting for this launcher to come out. Uh, I'm kind of tired of playing Chrome. But what we're going to do today is... Uh, oh. Um, and see, I have uh, 100 gold. So let's just see what I can get from the Spirit Orb. Anything that going to go into any of my decks. Doesn't look like it. It's nice to get a make a Maca, Macantor War Beast, a staple Magmar epic card. Um, and then I, I always have to mouse over all these because I hate uh, having these little ones up there. I wish you could just like have a setting just make to make that not show up. I mean, you kind of see the new cards as you get them. But uh, I've been, like last video, I've been leveling up uh, Songhai, now that I'm rank 0. I finished leveling up Songhai, and so now I have three factions fully leveled up, uh, Lionar, Songhai, and Vitruvian. And now I've been working on Abyssian. Here's my Abyssian deck. Very, very aggressive, because I kind of like my Songhai deck. Uh, not fully leveled up yet, and a beginner deck kind of. But I'm collecting some of the cards, and I've been winning most of the games at rank 0. But that's not what we're going to do today. We are actually going to play the Gauntlet. Um, it's Wednesday, at least that's when I'm recording this, so may as well do that now. And don't worry guys, I spent that 100 gold. I do have enough gold to play because, or I don't have enough gold, but I have one ticket. Uh, you get a ticket to play the Gauntlet if you, I'm not sure how many wins you have to get in the Gauntlet, I think 7. So last Gauntlet run, I got 8 wins. Uh... So, that earned me a ticket and some other rewards. So I get to play again without paying 150 gold, which is the entry fee. So this is the drafting format. I'm going to go with hmm, Magmar, Vanar, Songhai. I think I'll go with Songhai. At least I know more cards in Songhai than those other two factions. And this is going to take a really long time, the uh, gauntlet run, so I think I'm just going to show the drafting and maybe the first match. So let's see, take some other damage from the enemy general. Get from the minion, this many damage to the enemy minion, destroy that minion. Okay, that's death strike, prismatic illusionist, when I recast spells, summon a 2-1 illusion on a random nearby tile. Uh, I think I want to take the Illusionist. I feel like that can just get a lot of stuff going. And definitely Kaido Assassin here. I'll staple a uh, song high dude. Alright, now we got a bunch of spells to choose from. Ancestral Divination. Whenever you're, you summon a minion from your action bar, draw a card. Deal 2 damage to exactly 2 random enemy minions. Draw a card and Killing Edge. I'm gonna take Killing Edge. Kinda like that. Okay, ooh, Storm Wrath, that's powerful. The one damage all enemy minions and reactivate him. Alright, we're doing the inner focus. That is uh, pretty good for Song High. Now, Saber Spine Tiger or High Hand here? I'll take Saber Spine Tiger. I wanna be aggressive with this. If are here, I might take the High Hand. What's this do? Whenever this minion deals damage, I'll start 2 health to a general, and I'll take the high hand. Now, Fire Blazer is good provoke guy. Stormaratha is a nice big flying dude. I'll take the provoke. Fire Blazer. Okay, uh, we got three epics here. Aethermaster, Lantern Fox, and Purgatos. The something. Uh, hmm. None of these seem that good, but I guess I'll take the Parker because I have no other four drops and it could be decent, I guess. Should I take another inner focus here? I only have one Kaido Assassin. Or should I just take a normal minion? I'll take the inner focus. I want to have like a cool Songhai deck, a lot of spells. Nice, Gorehorn, Backstab, big dude. I actually wish I had him for my uh, regular deck. Mana Vortex, and Expel you cast, cost one less. 
Well, it's just like a card, so I'm gonna take it to spell. Ooh, Red Sinja. Whenever your general takes damage, this minion deals 7 damage to a nearby enemy minion. It's a lot of damage. Uh. Lady Lock. Other minions you summon the certain game plus one and provoke. That's also really good. And then you take control of a nearby enemy on a two or less attack. I think I'm going to take a oh, Lady Lock, is that good? I can play stuff with three and eh, now I'm gonna take the red Sinja. I think that just has more powerful power in the game. Phoenix Fire. Uh, Serpent T7, Fourth Frenzy, Frostbone Naga, Rust Crawler. Hmm. I'll go ahead and grab the Frostbone Naga. Artifact Defiler, Twin Strike, Crash Rye, Fan Blade. Do we have enough minions? I am. I think I'm okay. Deal two damage to go to two random enemy and draw a card. Or do I take Keshra Fan Blade? I'll take the Twin Shark. I like all these spells a lot. Another ch right, Chakri Avatar. I'm taking that. He can get big. Chaos Elemental. Lux Ignis. Well, this guy's range, I like to have him in the back here. Artifact Hunter. Draw a random artifact from your deck. I haven't drawn artifact yet. So. Yeah. I think I'm gonna take the artifact hunter regardless and hope I draw an artifact. Because I think that was the best card in that row. Another killing edge. Scarlet Viper is also good. Flying backstab 4. I'll take the Scarlet Viper. Uh. Oh wait, is Scarlet Viper a neutral card? If so, I think I have some of her. I could put it in my Songhai deck. I really should go ahead and do that. Uh, I'll take the Serpenty here. I want to be aggressive, big damage dudes. Light Bender, good to spell. Need more two drops. One damage to all enemy minions, get the plus three attack, or I'll take the plus three attack. Oh, here's an artifact. I should really just take this artifact. Yeah, so I can deal damage now. A rock polarizer is solid for both two drop. What's this? Whenever this minion deals damage, restore that much health to it. We just move that minion from this one, transform our Onyx Bear Seal. I can turn things into Hados. And. I think another Frostbone Naga. Yeah. And. Hmm. Crossbones, just in case. Uh, another Scarlet Viper on Social Determination. Or so I'm tempted to take the Saber Signs Seal, but I think uh, another Scarlet Viper would be better. And another Scarlet Viper. Wow, we have a lot of Scarlet Vipers here. Inner Focus, definitely. With all these Scarlet Vipers, it's going to be really good. And a Gorehorn. Okay, so we have a lot of decent Song High cards in this deck, so I hope. I can get a lot of wins with this deck. At least get the ticket. That's seven wins, I think. Uh, I think this is a fine starting hand. Actually, maybe I should have looked for another two drops so I can play two two drops in turn one. Oh, Namington is rank zero. So, I'll have a tough fight right away. Um, hmm. I'll get rid of the inner focus here. Alright, in this case, I'm going to play the Gorehorn, but I'm not going to take a Mana Spring. So next turn, if I take a Mana Spring, I can play either the Scarlet Viper or the Fire Blazer.
Okay, so that thing's just gonna go to the corner or something. Oh no, he's gonna kill it, okay. Why do you... Get... He let me get backstab on that? He's rank zero, so I should air. Maybe... He made a mistake there? I don't know. Oh, okay, he did make a mistake. Uh, yeah, I want to play a 5 drop this turn if I can. I'm going to get rid of the Light Bender. Nothing looks like this. I'm going to need to. Alright, since I got this Killing Edge, I'll, I want to play the Scarlet Viper this turn. Move here. And move you back here. Okay, so I can deal, what, 6 damage with you plus 4, which is going to make you deal 10 damage if I... Did that correctly, so hopefully he leaves his general open. And I can also play a mana vortex. Okay, well I'm gonna I can move my general to destroy this gloom chaser, so he will be open. His back will be open. Okay, uh or it's possible for me to play. No, I don't have enough. Alright, yeah, I want to deal as much damage as I can. I could get some a good play with the cross one now I get here, but I think it's better to just do this. So I'm gonna move the Scarlet Viper. Oh, I'm gonna play. Well, this I'm gonna draw a card at the end of the turn. I don't need to draw a card at the end of the turn. Do I have any? I have a two drop. Okay, I'll just play this then. And... I'll save that. Alright, so my hand will be replenished. And I'm gonna keep the rest of my hand. Or should I play this? To make him have one more health? No, I'm gonna save that. Alright, so I draw three cards, and I got a Blood Rage Mask, a Phoenix Fire, so it's looking really good. I think it's looking good. Ah, uh, well, we can destroy that, that's unfortunate. Now, another Scarlet Viper is good. I think Frostbone Naga is the clear play here, though. Yeah, it looks like it's definitely the clear play. So Frost One Naga costs four, and then I'll get rid of the Fire Blazer here. I think I'll just play the Phoenix Fire then. So Frostbone Naga. And Oh whoops. I thought that would die. Doesn't open again at heaven first, wouldn't that die? Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. In that case, I think I want to destroy it, so I'll play this. Then I'll... I'll play this. I want to get more cards in my hand. Should I do this too? Yeah, I'm gonna do it on this general. I just wanna deal damage to that directly. I think uh, I can win this game very soon. Purgatos might help. Um, and then I just get other big creatures. That will lower my artifact a little bit and heal him, so that was a nice card for him to play there. And he plays a Purgatos. And we're gonna trade those things. Okay. So, I have 7 to work with. I think that means I'm going to play a Scarlet Viper and a Rock Pulverizer. I'm going to get rid of the Serpent here. Uh, or do I play Fire Blazer? Fire Blazer is like Rock Pulverizer's big brother. I think, yeah, he's backed up against the wall. I'm going to play the uh, Fire Blazer instead. And I'm actually, you know, I actually don't think I'm going to uh, 
to provoke his general. Because right now he's against the wall. And I don't really want him to be against the wall because I want to be able to backstab him. So if I provoke him, he's not going to be able to move. So maybe he'll move? I don't know. Twin strike. Deal 2 damage to exactly 2 random enemy minions. Okay, what's he going to... Alright, he's going to unprovoke that. Not a huge deal. And... Alright. And a maw. Okay, so he's going to make it tough for me. Aw, oh, man. He heals him. Actually, I'm not sure if I... That may, maybe I did want that. I think Twin Strike will be a good card here. Yeah. I'm gonna get rid of the Serpentine. So he's like, play, he's playing around backstab now. Alright, so I'm gonna play the Twin Strike. Let's see who it... Hopefully it destroys these kids. Not quite. Um, so... It doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna move like this then. Destroy you. Then I will. I think I'd rather deal five damage to his general. And you know, rather than the Scarlet Viper, he's not gonna move out of a backstab. So I'm just gonna play the Purgatos. Okay, um, nice. Uh, with this inner focus, maybe I can scratch a win next turn. Uh, so, I'm assuming this artifact's gonna be destroyed this turn. Um, he has 5 health, could get to 8 if he deals damage with his turtles. Oh no, this thing can heal up also. So he definitely has healing going. And he's going to destroy that to destroy my Purgatos, so unfortunately, that kind of sucks actually. Now that's going to take that out, and he's going to get healed by three. So is he going to attack my general? Uh, he might want to, just to get rid of my artifact. I hope he doesn't though, because I do have a spell, or maybe more. Alright, he is going to attack my general. So he's going to get a Wraithling as well. Okay. So. Now. Let's get rid of a Scarlet Viper. And. Okay, I'm going to try to get behind him. I think that's a good idea. Oh, I don't really like attacking you. Yeah, I'm going to attack you. Though. He gets a right here. Now let's try to fill these spaces so we can't re retreat to the wall. I will put down, the, what do I have, nine resources? So can I go two, three? Oh, I can play, oh wait, I can win. All right, if I play this, yes, oh yeah, I can win. I, I didn't even see that win. GG. Wow, we didn't even get to say whip. Well played. So that uh, is my first gauntlet victory for this run. And I'm not going to attempt to put any more videos, any more gauntlet matches in this video. I'll make sure to tell you guys what my final record was in the next video. I think I'm just going to have the next video be me leveling up Abyssian or something. So if you didn't know, it goes up to 9 wins or 3 losses, whatever comes first. Last time I got to 8 wins until I got my 3rd loss, uh, so hopefully I can best that this time. And you always get a pack when you're finished with it, and a and some gold. The more wins you get, the more gold you get. And if you get 7 or more wins, you get a ticket to play again. Otherwise, you'll have to buy 150 gold to play again. So that'll be it for today, so like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you next time. Keep on dueling, duelists.